what is up guys so i eventually did it i did the paddle boat interior and it is this mission over here what you have to do is do it under two minutes 40 and the thing that got me through it in the end was the tip somebody gave me and that is that you can blow up these trip mines using your dual amgs from a distance because they do kind of have a ranged attack so here we go Hit the ground running. Now with that guy, try and get him a little earlier if you can, because if he puts up his claw and blocks you, you'll need to stomp him, and that's just going to take too long. Okay, at this point, you're looking good. You've got to get these two guys in one punch. And then this guy as well, simple enough. And again, with the next molded. Claude molded, make sure you get him before he stands completely up. He will block instantly when he's able to, and you pretty much have to restart. So we're going to come down here, and this is the difficult part. You've got to get your combo in, and knock him into that tripwire. Do not explode the tripwire from the side. Once you've done that, take this one out, and then run up to the bottom over here, and just get him as many times as you can. It takes three shots for me. And I thought he was gone there, but just in case, I wanted to go to the end, but I just couldn't. And there we go, 10 seconds left to open the door. It takes about 6 seconds, there we go. Yeah, I'm stoked. Okay, so the next one is going to be the jack fight. And what I've done to this point now is I've got my dual AMGs, I've got my bomb. And this took, sure, I would have to say close to 40, 45 attempts. But I did it again maybe three times, and the strategy works. And of course there is a large amount of luck involved as well. If he attacks you, doesn't attack you, um, keep your distance. Because if he starts his combo on you, it just takes too long. Probably will be starting this many, many times. Or restarting this. Okay, so what you want to do right at the start is get your bomb down. Spam bomb on the ground. Explode it. Pump up your fists. Okay, at this point, you want to take out the shotgun and you'll stun him. So reload your shotgun first. See, what I actually wanted to do there was grapple him and then double shoot the shotgun because for some reason that worked, the other way it didn't. So at this point, I'll shoot him twice. Get him up. Now you see, walk back so he doesn't get you. I was lucky to get away from that. And then after two charge shots, then you can start getting him on the ground. There we go. Seems easy enough, but trust me, it is not. Super stoked again. Alright, so from this point, I went ahead and saved my game, and then restarted my game and got to this point using the dual AMGs. So I used maybe one spear, and I think that was about it. No health, no anything. So to this point, I've gotten the best gear and the best health that I can in the game. So if I do have to restart the, the game or for another challenge, I can just load this game. And I've saved it on the number one slot. So make sure you do that. Okay, so now this is the part which is very difficult. This challenge is actually for the swamp monster, or should I say the swamp area. And with that, you can't have the dual AMGs with you. So you have to reload that game, and then you have to do this entire thing stealthfully, kind of stealthfully, and then you have to defeat Jack with just your fists, which isn't as difficult as I thought it would be. See, I was lucky to get him to die first time there. Yeah, it's not as easy as I thought, or not as difficult as I thought it would be, sorry. And I was able to get that on the first attempt. It just seems a shitload easier when there's no time limit. Okay, so save your game if you will, which you probably will. Now we have to do this part stealthfully. So now we're going to grab our effigy. Now at this point, you want to be facing to the right and spamming duck. If he sees you, restart, because you won't be able to do it. But if he doesn't like this, then you're good to go. You can run to this point and then you have to walk, you don't have to crawl or crouch. 
Okay, so from this point things get a little bit trickier. Now the idea is to sprint straight ahead and stealthily kill the four-legged puck stick, which is around this corner. Just sprint straight towards him and if you're lucky, the other guy won't notice you in time. If uh, the mobile on the left notices you, then tuck tail and run. So this isn't essential. Just get out of here without getting smacked. And then what we're going to do, we're going to run to this air vent over here. I was lucky to get both of them to come with me. So you don't want to stand on that side of the air vent. You want to come to this edge here. As soon as you cross this line here, then they will come towards you and try and attack you. Now you can kill the four-legged guy down here as well. It just takes a lot of time. You have to hit and then pull back, hit and then pull back. Now these guys can definitely hit you in here. So play it safe. And if you get injured at all, take out your spirit blade and heal yourself. I think I managed to get through this with no damage at all. There we go. Solid punch to the kneecap. But again, no time limit, so really take your time. Make sure they're not attacking before you move forward. Because you don't want him to attack you and then die, so you can't heal yourself. Some of the times they'll move into the tripwires on the left. Which I think he might do, I'm not sure. But either way, you can kill them both fairly easily from this air vent. And I will take any help that I can get to get past this paddle boat, sure. Okay, there's one. Nope, still both. There we go, one down. There we go, he's also down. Alright, so we're going to use this tripwire here in a second. And now that there's actually two tripwires left, it might benefit me. So yeah, it's probably better that they don't do the tripwire. If not, you can always retreat back to that um, air vent and kill any monster. It'll just take a long time with the clawed. So walk past that doorway, and then he's going to spawn. And then you want to run around to this side so he walks towards you and trips the tripwire. Right there. And again, so I was lucky, like I said, that they, the molded before him didn't take out that tripwire. But I will take it. Thank you very much. Okay, so now make sure you've collected everything, which is pretty much the, um, the grub on the barrel, which I did get. And what you can do as well, if that uh, clawed molded I just killed there doesn't die, you can come around to this side and he will come around and then trip that trip wire as well. So there's another way you can do that. So on my left over there, there are some uh, throwing knives, which you should pick up. And I do pick up in the end because I go back and save after this, which is a terribly good idea. So just like my walkthrough on the Joe Must Die, we're going to get this guy to come for us. And again, come around here, drop down in case he doesn't die so you can stomp him. Then you can stealth this guy easy enough. Okay, now it gets trickier again. You want to spawn this guy, the clawed molded, which is going to come through this side over here. Get your throwing knife out. So he gets taken by the, the pad over there, and then you want to kill him with this. And if he doesn't die, just run ahead towards him and stomp him. Because you need that other tripwire for the bloated guy. Okay, so we're looking very good now. So what I want to do is go back and save. Because why not? And just a location, I'm by the vent over here. So I've come down from the top deck, and I've also collected that uh, boxing effigy on the top deck and then we've got the two throwing knives there then we're going to head down and pull a nice little trick which I discovered which is pretty much what determines you getting this and not getting this because it's pretty much a shortcut straight there so there we go he spawns just behind those barrels once you go near that doorway then you can come around here and very sneaky throw a knife at him I was super stoked when this hit him. And he's gonna come and trip this tripwire. And there's a good chance he won't die the first time. And if he doesn't, then you have to lead him around this way and stand on the left of the passage so he gets the other tripwire. Which is gonna make your boss fight a lot more difficult. But the aim is to try and, well, you can't do much to get him to die here, but it's just lucky if he does. 
Okay, so into this room, we're going to head down into the other event and we're going to grab some more stuff. But be careful, there is a tripwire here. So you can destroy it from this side. In my tutorial, I said you couldn't. Sue me. Alright, so boxing effigy and shotgun shells, the only ones in the game. And a branch. Alright, so now we can head around to the other side of this and grab the other loot. Then we're going to deal with the large molded mother bitch. There's some more throwing knives there on the left, which I'll grab on the way back. So we're going to head down here and grab the loot on the other side of that neuro pad. And hopefully by the end of today, I will have uploaded the rest of the challenges. And then I'm going to do a video with all the challenges in one. Okay, I wanted to check if there was a grub here. On normal mode there is. But there's some more throwing knives here. And I'm going to make a cut here again. Because I go up and save one more time. There we go. I come back. Alright, so get him to spawn. I'm going to run around to this side so he trips the wire. There we go. Then we're going to head back to this wire. Oh no, we're going to head back over here first. And throw a knife at the box. So hopefully he's not too far gone. You just come around here straight away. And be careful, it takes you a while to throw and you can attack you pretty quickly. Alright, so now we're going to head down and utilize this tripwire. And this is going to kill him. Then you are good as gold. Then you just have to defeat Jack with your bare fists. And maybe one bomb if you want to. Hopefully he doesn't explode that tripwire with his spit at least. There we go, he's toast. Stay away from him. Alright, we are good to go with the jack fight. Now, pick up the items, which is a grub on the left hand side over here in the bowl. And there is nothing else in this area, not even behind the wall over here. I thought I saw an effigy there, but uh, I've never found one there. But I'm always looking. Alright, so up we go. Now with this fight, I definitely could do it without using a bomb. It just will take longer because having the spirit blade, you can heal yourself after he attacks you a little bit. But in this one, I did use the bomb. Let me just skip ahead on this. this is it. Save your game. Bye. Make sure you've got all your weapons in the order that you want. I always keep my weapons in the same slots. The only thing I might do differently here is put the shotgun in the left hand slot. And the bomb, I think I put, yeah, create the bombs. I put the bomb in my downwards always. And then what I would do differently is put the shotgun in the left slot over there. And then we're good to go. Okay, strategies for this is... If you have any damage at all, use the Spirit Blade, heal yourself up to the max, because if he grapples you with the headbutt, then that's going to take off way too much health. And I've got a solid strategy now for the headbutt, is to, the second he puts his hands in the air, is to turn around and run away. Even if you don't get out of his range, he can't grapple you if your back's turned. So the whole idea is to get your back to face him, when you see his arms raised. But a lot of the time, you will be able to make it away from him, depending if you've got enough space on your side. Or back behind you at least. Always try and keep an eye on him through your fist. You've got to see what his move is next, because it'll always determine what you do next. Heal yourself up. Do some spectacular dodging. Now the Spirit Blade is somewhat unreliable sometimes. You could be spamming hit and then it doesn't actually hit. See like there, turn your back and I managed to get away from him. But in that situation, he wouldn't hit but you, he would just hit you. Which is what got me through the previous guide. There we go, getting him nicely. you 
always do a follow-up attack, or normally will do a follow-up attack, he doesn't connect you with that launch. I was lucky not to get smacked there. I think those are the only two hits he gets in that I wasn't blocking. Whoop, I see you right like that. I would have headbutted and maybe would have died, but in this instant, just got a bit of damage taken off. Take your time, heal yourself up when you need to. No problem using a healing device right there, or a healing item. There we go. That is one down. And at this point, crouch and hit him because my first punches don't actually connect. Okay, only about three minutes left in this fight. And he is toast. Then I'm going to move on to the next group of challenges, which is the swamp, which is <laughs> I'm terrified for because it is nasty long, that section. But there is a save point and a box in between, so that will be the new save, which I will load if I need to change things up. And also the blade will get stuck in him sometimes, just slowing you down just a little bit. Once you full health or near full, start laying into him again. He normally does the raised arms after that stealthy little uh, sliding attack he does there, but not every time. Like now, there we go. I will take that damage instead of a headbutt any day of the week. Should have blocked that. When he stands dead still and crouches, he's going to die. But if he strafes left and right, then he's going to do the raised arm. Got me good there. Ah, I see he connected me and followed up. Sneaky puff at her. But it's alright, we're gonna take him down in a second. There we go, full health. How's that dodge? He's very agile for a large swamp monster type thing. Another way just stares at you. But it's always good to let him attack. So you can counter accordingly. He gets very sneaky as you can see there, another dodge one. So quick. Just stopped him from attacking there with a little right jab. Ow. 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 Okay, so it's best to hit him once with that spirit blade and then see if he's going to follow up like that because if you don't block the first one it's almost impossible to block the next two almost okay he's going to go down very soon another nice little dodge there and there Getting too carried away here, trying to rush things. But there we go. He is down. Exactly. Alright guys, I hope you found this really informative and you're able to take this guy down without using the dual AMGs because on the next mission, on the next challenge, you cannot have the dual AMGs as far as I know. I could be mistaken, but it's a long, a long mission with uh, crocodiles and stuff, so it's pretty much going to be a dodging and possibly some spears. But I hope you found this really informative and you're able to take this guy out bare-fisted. So I want to say thank you so much for watching and I'll catch you on the next one.